Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Scarf and I'm going to show you method number two of turning in assignments in my class. For this method, you're going to need your cell phone, Google Drive on your phone, and um, you need to know my webpage address, which is www.carlascarf.com. Once you have Google Drive installed on your phone, you need to log in with your school account. Next, you need to go to my website. Here's my website, and carlascarf.com, and I'm going to go look for an assignment that I need to turn in. A lot of the times, it'll say, turn in your assignment using the turn in folder. So you're going to click where it says turn in folder, and this will take you to a place where you select which account you want to use for Google Drive and use your school account, click OK. This is the turn in folder and you're going to see period 1, 2, 3, 4. I want you to go to the period that belongs to your class. A word of warning, do not touch anybody else's files, don't delete anything. Google Drive, this folder belongs to me so it tells me who deleted what and what time and all that information. Don't touch anybody else's assignments, you'll get into a lot of trouble. Okay, so let's pretend that you are in period three. In here, you are going to see different assignments that you need to turn in. Right now, let's practice turning in the Zentangle assignment. So go to the folder called Zentangle. Give it a minute, sometimes it's a little slow. Depending on the assignment, you might need to turn in a document or a slideshow or a picture. First, let's practice turning in a Google document. Click on the plus sign on the bottom right hand corner and then click where it says Google Doc. But you have different choices. You can create a sheet, you can upload a file. So let's go to Google Doc. First thing, always, always, always rename the document so that it has the following format. Put the period that you're in, just the number, put an underscore, which is shift, and the little line that's next to the plus sign on your keyboard, then it's your last name, then it's your first name, and then the name of the assignment. If you have more than one document, put a number one, two, or three after it. Next, you want to put your name. Oh, I misspelled my own name. Then you want to put the period that you're in, and then put the date. Then you want to start putting in your pictures. When you're putting in pictures, make sure that your pictures are sharp bright and that your name appears on the bottom right hand corner if it's a project. Click on the plus sign, go to image, and you can grab from your phone's pictures, you can take a new picture, or you can grab pictures from the internet. So I'm going to go to photos, it's going to bring up all the files on my phone, and let's put in this beautiful picture of me with a red hair and let's add the picture of me looking witchy with green hair because I look awesome. When you are finished, click the check mark, click the X, and double check that your assignment is in there. And there it is. And that is the second method.